Welcome to NPTEL MOOC's course on Computer Vision and Image Processing, Fundamentals and Applications. I am Dr. M.K. Bhuya, Professor of the Department of Electronics and Electrical Engineering, IIT Guwahati. So, in this course, I will discuss some fundamental concepts of computer vision and image processing and finally, I will highlight some important applications of computer vision. So, what is computer vision? Computer vision is a field of computer science. The objective is to build a machine so that it can process and interpret images and the videos just like a human visual system does. So, I can say it may be a complement of biological vision. Let us see the formal definition of computer vision. So, building machines that can see. Mainly the objective is to build a machine which can interact with world. And in a computer vision system, input is digital images and videos and it is mainly the modeling of biological perception. So, definition of computer vision is, computer vision is a field of computer science that works on enabling computers to see, identify and process images in the same way that human vision does and then provide appropriate output. So, this is the definition of computer vision. In my next slide, I want to show the similarity between the human visual system and the computer vision system. If you see the first block diagram, the first block diagram is the human visual system. So, in case of the human visual system, we have eyes to see objects or we can see images or we can see videos. After this, we do some processing in our brain and after processing, we take intelligent decisions. In case of the computer vision system, we have cameras, we may have single camera or maybe multiple cameras for image acquisition, for video equations and after this we do some processing that is the pre-processing and that is called the image processing and after this we have to apply some pattern recognition and artificial intelligence algorithms for decision making. So, in this case you have seen that the similarity between the human visual system and the computer vision system. In case of the human eye, the light photon is converted into electrical signal. In case of the camera, the light photon is also converted into electrical signal. So, you can see the similarity between human visual system and the computer vision system. Now, I want to highlight the distinction between computer vision, image processing and computer graphics. In case of the computer vision, my input is images or the videos and output is interpretations. The interpretation of images, interpretation of videos that is computer vision. In case of the image processing, my input is image and output is also image. So, I can give one example. Suppose, if I want to improve the visual quality of an image, I have to do image processing. Then in this case, my input will be image and output will be image. Another example I can give. Suppose, if I want to remove noises in an image, I have to do image processing. Then in this case, my input is image, output is also image. In computer graphics, my input is scene or the model. So, from the model, I have to generate the image. So, in my next slide, I want to show that uh, distinction between computer vision, image processing and computer graphics. Here you have seen the computer vision is nothing but image analysis, image interpretations, scene understanding. So, input is image, output is interpretation. In image processing, input is image, output is also image. In computer graphics, input is model or scene and output is image. So, that is the distinction between computer vision, image processing and computer graphics. Now, let us see the, what are the applications of computer vision, the computer vision applications. So, there are many applications of computer vision like in multimedia, uh, video surveillance, in medical image analysis, medical image interpretations and also like 3D reconstruction, image segmentation, human computer interactions, 3D object recognition, optical character recognitions, augmented realities, video surveillance inspection of industrial components and automation. So, there are many, many applications of computer vision. Now, overview of the course, the proposed course is the combination of three courses mainly, the image processing, computer vision and machine learning. The machine learning algorithms used in computer vision applications. So, the prerequisites, the basic coordinate geometry, matrix algebra, linear algebra and random process, digital image processing. And for programming, we can consider MATLAB, or maybe open CP Python. Now, let us see the course outline. The part one is introduction to computer vision. So, in this uh, part, I will discuss the basic concepts of image formation, image formation and the radiometry, geometric transformation, geometric camera models and image reconstruction from a series of projections. So, part two is the image processing concepts. 
So in this case, we will discuss the fundamentals of image processing, image transforms, image filterings, color image processing and also mathematical morphology and image segmentations. Part 3 is image descriptors and features. So in this case, we will discuss the texture descriptors, color features, edge detection, object boundary and shape representations and some features like hog features, shift features, surf features and the concept of saliency we will discuss. And after this the machine learning algorithms for computer vision. So, we will discuss the supervised algorithms and the unsupervised algorithms for uh, machine learning algorithms for computer vision. Also, we will discuss artificial neural networks and deep networks. And finally, the applications of computer visions. So, we will discuss uh, medical image segmentations, motion estimation and object tracking and face and facial expression recognition, image fusion and gesture recognitions. So, we have seen that in this course first part is the concept of image formation, camera model and radiometry. Second part is the fundamental concept of image processing. The third part is the image descriptors, the image features that is we will discuss some image features like texture features, color features and some advanced features like hog features, shift features. Uh, this is about the part 3 of the course. Part 4 the machine learning algorithms for computer visions and part 5 is the applications of computer visions. So, we will discuss some applications of computer visions and regarding the books you can follow the book by Forsyth and the Pons the number 2 and my book is MK Bhuya Computer Vision and Image Processing Fundamentals and Applications it is published by CRC Press USA and for machine learning you can see the book by Duda and Hart. And for image processing, you can see this book, the, the book by Gonzalez and the A.K. Zain. So, this is about the books. So, this is the course outline for uh, the course on computer vision and image processing fundamentals and applications. I hope you will enjoy the course. Thank you.